information. Today, we're going to learn about how wool is dyed. Now, I see this yarn is blue. How does it get its colour? Well, to get colour into wool, we dye it. And there are three times at which you can dye wool to put colour in it. You can dye it as wool top. That's called top dyeing. So we would dye that fibre before we spin it into yarn. The second time you can do it is you can dye the yarn. So after you spin it uh, as white wool, you can then dye it at that point. Or you can knit it into a fabric first and then dye the fabric. So there are different reasons to dye uh, at different times depending on what you want. For example, if you wanted a stripe in your fabric, you obviously have to dye the yarn or the wool top earlier on. Equally, um, if you wanted to get, instead of a solid colour, a melange effect in the colour, you might dye some of the wool top into a dark colour and then blend it with undyed wool to get a speckled effect. So there are three points at which you can dye wool, either as wool top, as yarn or as fabric. So James, does melange mean speckled? Basically, yes. So melange is where we, instead of having a solid colour, we dye some of the fibre to a certain colour and then blend it in either with a different dyed coloured wool fibre or a wool fibre that hasn't been dyed at all. And so depending on how much you use of the different tones, you get a kind of speckled uh, effect through the finished fabric. Now what's the fabric dyed? Is that it? No, there's one final thing we have to do after dyeing and that's called finishing. So after the fabric has been dyed, we'll usually need to scour the fabric, so wash it, much like we wash the clean wool. We just want to wash the fabric so that all of the uh, excess dye stuffs are uh, washed away. Uh, there are other processes you can do in finishing. You can, uh, you can do decatizing, steaming, um, all sorts of different processes depending on what sort of finish you want on the fabric for your end garment. Alright, cool. For more information go to merino.com.